These military veterans are still living with post-traumatic stress disorder. Sarah Watson from Colchester was medically discharged from the army in 2012. The mother of five has nerve damage to her neck after a swimming accident and a spinal disease leaves her in constant pain. Sarah used to be a bodybuilder and after 13 years in the army has struggled with the transition to civilian life. It feels like you're just on leave for the first couple of weeks and you quite enjoy it. Um, but then realisation comes that you're not actually going to go back to work and you're not going to put your uniform back on. And then it suddenly, it kind of hits you all at once and you feel outside this, that safe little bubble and you're outside the loop. And it's really quite, it's really quite scary and daunting, thinking, right, what's my next move? Kimberly Sissons from Malden in Essex served in the Royal Army Medical Corps for eight years. You're so unsettled. One minute you just don't want to see anyone, and the next minute you feel so lonely, and then the next minute you just want to, want to be with everyone. And then if you're with everyone, it just gets a bit too much. Researchers at the University of Essex are looking at how outdoor group activities may help alleviate PTSD symptoms. They're running a pilot scheme at the Colchester Garrison Saddle Club to see how working with the horses can be beneficial. If we think of talking about people coming back from Afghan now, um, then we're looking for, in, in, over the next decade a, a high number of, of military veterans seeking out um, some sort of psychotherapy to help them with their problems. Uh, if we can build something, you know, incorporating this holistic approach, um, we think that this will aid bringing the barriers down and probably help them get, you know, get back to help, better health soon. Michael Walker from Norfolk fought in the first Gulf War. 20 years on, he still struggles to leave his house. But spending time with the horses as well, who are, they're sensitive to energy, but they also give out a calming energy, and it's been absolutely fantastic. Those here say the social and mental care for ex-service personnel is improving, but there's still more that needs to be done to show veterans that there is hope for their future. Serena Sandu, ITV News, Colchester.